This is an ESP32 dev board that I made. On the back, you can solder on a uh, coin cell, which has very little life. Or you can plug in an external battery to the little micro JFT connector. On the rear, it has a power switch. And on the other side, it has the uh, color TFT. Um, this would be the uh, LiPo protection circuit. It's a battery charger, LDO. Um, that would be ESD on the um, USB pins. F, that would be a uh, CP2102N. And uh, auto reset, dual transistors, time of flight sensor, ESP32 Pico D4 antenna. That's a temperature humidity sensor and the accelerometer. The software for this was written by a fast code RS who did an amazing job and worked um, for quite a long time getting parts of this working. Uh, I highly recommend him for any projects you're thinking about doing and I'll post the link to him in the description. It has um, four little touch sensors on the bottom that are sort of getting worn off. So I'm just going to power it up now with this battery. So you can see the uh, beautiful animation. This would be an I2C scan sketch. So all the different devices. Wi-Fi scan. BLE scan. This takes about 10 seconds. This is one of the latest um, parts of the code. Amazing. Look back. Be the button test. You can see all the little capacitive buttons on the bottom. Press two of them to get out of the menu. Proximity test. It's that little time of flight sensor. This is my favorite. This is the uh, accelerometer test. It's so pretty. It's so fast too. And what about temperature humidity sensor? Yep, there it is there. Little part of there. Um, assembling this board was really challenging because you have to wave flow all of the components except for this part which could get contaminated or I don't know if he could damage it or not and this part here because of the sensitive little window on it so you usually reflow all of the parts except for the display and these two parts and then test it and fix it any shorts or uh, parts aren't soldered down once that is done, then I put these on by hand. And then once that is done, it's all cleaned very carefully, not to contaminate this little window, these two windows or that window. And then after that, you put on the display and test. So uh, if you're interested in making one of these, I'll post all the design files, the schematic, the parts list, and the group of files. Um, yeah, that's it, thanks a lot.